this is just a short video about the free play self-powered energy radio um, which is a wind-up radio you wind it up using this lever here and then the radio plays and then when the radio stops playing you wind it back up again um, this is a very early generation one uh, it's made in South Africa um, I believe the deal was that if you bought one of these radios that they then it then paid for a second radio that would go into Africa and would be used for farming advice uh, to deliver farming advice uh, make farming more efficient and therefore help in some way um, also referred to as the beer gen um, I believe the guy who invented it was called Bayless um, it sounds like one of the really great ideas a radio that you have to buy batteries for but unfortunately it's not as useful as you may think um, the problem is it takes a lot of winding up and you only get 30 minutes of radio which means that you can't listen to a football match or any anything longer you know any longer radio productions uh, and regrettably also that when you actually wind it up the radio stops working which means if a what if you are listening to a football match and a goal is scored in that time it can be quite um, aggravating uh, unfortunately there is in addition no battery compartment whatsoever um, so therefore the only way you can make this radio work is if you wind it up uh, this particular one has a fault um, which I will now demonstrate <coughs> I don't, know. Right, I don't know if you saw what happened there, but uh, the motor spun up quite fast. Uh, and in actual fact, normally what happens is that the motor spins up fast and then stays fast, uh, and the radio doesn't work. Um, that is this. This is the speed that it should be running at. Um, but obviously, there's there's a fault, and I think I know where the fault is. I think it's a rubber belt which is inside. Um, and I know that because I've already replaced one once in this radio, maybe about 10 years ago. So it's time to take it apart and get to that belt. Okay, so once you're inside, you can see that half of the radio is taken up by the energy generator. And only a small fraction of the radio is taken up by the actual radio circuitry. Um, it's fairly conventional radio, um, FM, AM and shortwave, I believe. There's a big warning inside here, and it's correct. It says, do not open, danger, um, and a big skull and crossbones. Um, this is um, a lethal energy store. There is a, um, a wound metal spring in here that if it was to be under pressure, and it was to spring out, um, could cause serious injury. Therefore, do not do what I am doing. Um, this is a very dangerous place to be. But anyway, time to change the belt. Okay, so I've taken the very top off um, the, um, the spring mechanism. I've obviously left the dangerous bit, or in my, my opinion would be the dangerous bit down here. Again, do not do what I'm doing. Um, this section here is actually connected to the spring. And that then goes up, goes through a speed up gear, um, which turns this really, really fast, which in turn turns that really fast, and then finally turns this. And um, you can see that basically you're turning um, a very small movement into a large movement, which is enough to turn the generator. And what happens is that these belts stretch. So I've got to find a belt that's um, a bit tighter. Okay, so I found a new belt and I put it on. So this turns and it turns the the dynamo. All right, put that again. I just want to repeat my little warning, and I really mean it this time. Do not take one of these things apart. It does say on the back. This radio should only be opened by an authorized repair dealer the internal spring 
can cause injury. Now I thought I had unwound the spring, but it turns out that there must have been about a quarter of a turn still left on it. And it's given me a small injury, which I won't go into, but yeah, if that thing had been fully wound, it could have been really nasty. So do not open one of these things. Anyway, that being said, I will continue what I was going to do. Okay, so here's the problem. Winding it up. This is not an easy task. So here we go. I want to listen to half an hour radio, right? This winding process I'm about to do will give you half an hour of radio. gives us the ability to say outreach to China. What does this mean? Or I'm really supportive of this outreach to China. Or I don't understand why you are going to... Anyway, so there it is. There's the radio working. Um, so now I've turned the volume all the way off. You'll notice another problem with it in that, although I've stopped listening to the radio, the spring continues to wind down. It winds down to a constant rate, um, regardless of what volume it's at, or like I say whether you listen to the radio or not. It just winds down. Um, now I took 60 turns to wind it and if we count we can see that it takes about 30 seconds 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006, 1007, 1008, 1009, 1010, 1011, 1012, 1013, 1014, 1015. Right so it takes 15 seconds to half a turn that's 30 seconds to do a full turn um, it's 60 turns therefore it's 30 minutes and that's what it gives you, it gives you 30 minutes. You can also probably hear it's quite noisy. Um, the buzzing's the gears, the rumbling that you can hear is the spring, uh, and as the spring gets to its very end, it, it starts to really clunk and knock and, and do whatever. Um, obviously this is quite an old radio now, um, but, um, yeah, you know, it's getting a bit battered, but it it is used on a fairly regular basis. Um, where I do tend to use it is for on a morning I wind it up, um, listen to a bit of music, listen to the um, travel reports, and if I leave the house and it's still running, then fair enough because I know it will switch itself off um, quite shortly. And um, so therefore, it's just living in the kitchen really. Um, but uh, there you go. Uh, the Bayless radio, um, not particularly practical, fairly lethal to work on, um, but it's an interesting relic of the past.